In this tutorial, I'm going to compare how to add a city in Railroad Tycoon 2 versus Railroad Tycoon 3. I'm trying to show how the Railroad Tycoon 2 editor is much easier to use. So here we have the Britain map, the stock one, with no improvements by me. And York is missing, as you can see. The Flying Scotsman scenario uses a map that has York but not Leeds, which is also inaccurate, probably more inaccurate. So anyway, you click the hammer button over there on the left there. You select Add City from the list. You left-click to place your city. I mean, in this case, I'm not really sure where to put York, even though I lived there for a while. Left-click to place the city. And you put in your city name. You select your architecture style and the size of the city. The city is just kind of the generic city size. Tudor for architecture in this case. And then I'm going to copy the industries of Leeds just for convenience, even though the two cities are somewhat different in real life. And there it is. It's very easy. But in Railroad Tycoon 3, seen here, first of all, you have to go to Extras before you can even get into the editor. We'll go look at the standard Britain map for Railroad Tycoon 3, which is even sparser than the one for Railroad Tycoon 2, which is one of my complaints. And we go up to Yorkshire again here. The scale of this map is a bit larger, so you can fit a little bit more detail into it. That's nice about it. And it will be easier to place York in terms of location. be about there. But as you'll see, cities, regions, and territories are very confused in this. So we look up territories. That's not too surprising. We have Britain, Ireland, and France. I would add Scotland also if I were going to properly mod this. But that's predictable. The paint function is basically for terrain. And then the this means regions, which is not at all clear. And the cities are counted as regions in some of the menus, even though you can't place one here. You can instead use the station placement button there and scroll up to add a city. which this is very confusing. If you want to rewind the video and see what I just did, because this makes so little sense, certainly do so. So you place it with the left click and you put in the city name, but you're not done. This is another annoying thing. They don't put everything in the same menu as in Railroad Tycoon 2. You have to go to this little list over here. Again, rewind if you didn't see me do that. And so then we can pick York from the list and copy the industries from another city. But it is very confusing. Because everything's scattered around in different menus, and a lot of the terminology even doesn't make a lot of sense. So I'm just looking at my industries here. But... In Britain 2, which is the map that I tried to edit, which is nowhere close to complete yet, York is there, and I've added a whole bunch of other cities, which we're missing, like Bristol and Southampton, and all these really important places in Britain, which were not in the original map. It's crazy. But this is my point is that this is an important function to have in the editor because a lot of these maps are not done with a great attention to detail, it seems. So in the future, I'll add a Scotland region, or territory, rather. That's it. Thanks for watching.